Welcome to the Rundown Reborn channel. My next task ahead of me is to get some stair lighting installed, and to do this I'm going to implement a three-way switch. A three-way switch means that you have two switches in different locations to operate the same light fixtures. In my case, I'm installing three lights on two switches. The first light is in the hallway leading to the stairs. The second light is at the stair landing near the window I just installed earlier. And the third light is at the top of the stairs. My first switch to operate these lights will be at the start of the hallway. And the second switch is of course at the top of the stairs. I'm using these low voltage LED lights with a low profile. These fixtures have a separate connection box from the light making them really easy to work with in tight places. They give off great luminance, use almost no power, and last for years. So to begin, I will start at the first switch. Here I have three wires coming into the box. I'm using 14-2 and 14-3 wire. This means that it's 14 gauge wire with two or three wires inside, depending on the type. The first wire here is my 14-2 power source. There are three wires inside one black hot wire, one white neutral wire, and a bare ground wire. Now this power line is currently dead and it's not connected to a main panel circuit, so it's safe to work with. The second wire here is a 14-2 wire that runs to the first light fixture. The third wire is a 14-3 wire that will connect the switches to each other. The extra wire inside is red and is called the common wire. The first thing I want to do is connect those common wires to the three-way light switches. These are special switches made specifically for three-way connections. I want to connect those to the gold-colored brass screw on the switch. Now that the common wires are in place, the next step is to connect all the ground wires. The terminal screws to connect ground wires to are usually green in color. The ground wires are the bare wires that have no insulation on them. I like using these green wire nuts specifically designed for ground wire connections. They allow you to connect all the ground wires together and have one longer wire strand extend through the tip of the wire nut to make the ground connection with. In the case of the light fixtures, there's no place to mount the ground wire, so I am simply connecting those together with just a termination cap. Fixture wires are usually very fine, and there isn't much exposed wire to work with. So instead of connecting them to these other heavier wires directly, I am using a bridge wire to connect the multiple ground wires together at one end, and then I am connecting the other end of the bridge wire to the fixture wire. This ensures that I will have a solid, sound, and safe two-wire connection at the fixture. The next set of wires to connect are the white neutral wires. At the first switch, we have to make sure the correct neutral wire is connected to the switch. The correct wire to use at the switch will be the wire coming from the second switch. The remaining two neutral wires, one coming from the power source and the other from the light fixture, are then connected together with a standard yellow wire nut. At the switches, I will connect the neutral wires to the opposite side of the common wire. There's just one screw on this side of the switch. At the light fixtures, I am connecting all the whites together with termination caps, using bridge wires as I did earlier with the ground wires. The last set of wires to connect are the power wires, or the hot wires, and they are black in color. At the first switch, the black wire coming from the light fixture will be connected to the common terminal screw, which is black in color. The remaining two black wires are connected together. These are the wires coming from the power source and the second switch. Once all the connections are made, we can set the switch back into the box. At the second switch, we terminate the remaining black wire to the common terminal screw, which is black in color. We are now done with the second switch, and we can set it back into its box. At the fixtures, we just need to connect the black wires together. But same as before, if I have more than one wire needing to connect to the fixture wire, then I'm going to use a bridge wire to connect the multiple wires together so that it can have a single wire connection to the actual fixture. Now it doesn't have to be done this way, but it's good practice to do so when the fixture wires are really small and fine. Now there are multiple ways to wire a three-way switch. The way I've demonstrated here is a great approach 
when you want to add a three-way switch to an existing single pole configuration. With this three-way wiring configuration, you can just feed a 14-3 wire to the second three-way switch location, swap out the old single pole switch with a new three-way switch, and connect all the wires as I've shown here. So now that everything is in place and connected, we just need to restore power to the switch and our lights will work. <laughs>